was. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Um, do you regret doing the show? Hell yeah. Okay. Cause you know sometimes some people be like, oh, I did that shit. I don't give a fuck. Nah. What, what was the, what was the what was the pros and cons of doing it? Well, from the beginning, homie. You know what I'm saying. I. I we gonna t- say the name of the show. If you want, that's on Fuck you. it, I mean, the, the gangland shit. Homie. Gotcha. And that ain't that ain't my what I'm known for. That was way later on, but you know, it was at the beginning when they first started filming Gangland, and uh, it was another show out at the time called Gang Wars. Gotcha. I saw my homeboy Filthy Rich. Shout out to my young homeboy Filthy Rich from Oakland. You know what I'm saying on that show. And um, when these people hollered at me to interview me, whatever, I was like, I didn't really care what the show is because mm-hmm. whatever I showed, you know, whatever I do, like when I interview with you, yeah, I'm going to interview real. with yeah, you yeah, and what real, I'm yeah. going to see is going to be what it was. But in this situ- situation, and I'm going to tell all the young homies out here that that's want to be a part of these TV shows, the glamour, glam- glorified gangster shit and all that, man, that, that shit ain't, that, it's somebody making money off that shit and them folks don't give two shits about us. And when they first came in, I thought it was going to be an opportunity for me to tell my story on a grand level. Wow. But little did I know, bro, like that TV is a monster, bro. They'll, the let you ha- this, yeah, the they'll, they'll let you have this and have that, but them folks ain't going to let us have that media forefront and do what we want to do with it. So I was giving out real bars, real game. And presenting myself to them people of that show like I was a G homie that did this and whatever, whatever. And when I came back and saw the show, they depicted me as a, as as the the 17, 18 year old maniac that I whatever. And just and just and if you look at the show, it's, it's fucked up. Straight up gang, we're gonna keep it real. Yeah. Young homies, they, they them TV shows and all that shit. Listen here, this is how they do you. So they would ask me a question like, so Mitch, what is it like growing up in? Southern Cali, Cali in the gang culture, mm-hmm. and I would answer like, "Man, it's crazy out here. You know, it's like a mind state of like, you know, you kill one of ours, you kill two of ours. I mean, I mean, you kill one, one of, of ours, ours, we kill, we two, kill of two of yours. You kill two of ours, we kill ten of yours. Boop, edit, boop, boop, bop. Dead people, brrr, sub, 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 oh, straight yeah, clip. Yeah, yeah, Bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kill two of ours, we kill ten of yours. They'll just take that clip. So when I'm describing what it's like to grow up in this environment, they'll take that clip out and put it in between all type of imagery and make it look like that's what you own today. And that's what happened. On yeah, so, so, so you come back... Uh when you go back to the hood, was they did, was they cheering you on for that shit? Was they like, "Yo, good shit," or was they like, "Damn, that shit"? No, the that way they crazy. the way they did it. My my hood ain't no no ignorant shit, and we got real close ties and this historical events that done happened in my city between my hood and the police and shit like that. And it wasn't no good thing. It wasn't a good thing. And I didn't step out on my own and do it on my own. The gist niggas from my whole neighborhood was there behind me and was with me and and okayed everything I did, but gotcha, what they showed gotcha. wasn't what it was. I mean, I took, I, man, we got a location in my neighborhood, homie, at Dr. J's, homie, that's our store, we all came up. Um, Dr. J's, homie, it was, a, it was a situation, like, I think it was, a, I, don't, I, I don't even want to go days, but anyway, man, it was about a decade ago, homie, and, 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 and some cross towns came through our neighborhood, homie, and New Year's Eve, homie, and shot up the liquor store, and killed two innocent Muslim ladies, homie, mm. and shot up a little eight-year-old kid, homie. And from that incident, homie, we tried to put efforts towards making some positive, as terrible as it was, come from that. And so we declared that area in my neighborhood as a free, safe zone for anybody from any neighborhood to come learn, come do their homework, come get help, come get jobs, all that. And I took gangland to that meeting where I brought G's that was Crips from Brims, from Lincoln, from all the hoods in my in my town. And we came together and sat down and hashed those things out to make that happen. That ain't, ain't make the cut. Speck of that yeah, on, they ain't on make the, the cut. show. So that should tell you right there what that was about. So fuck Gangland, that TV show. Fuck everybody that has something to do with it. Fuck your mama. Everybody. That shit is foul. Y'all doing niggas dirty for that shit. And let's move on to the next shit, bro. I don't want to talk about that shit. Got you. Hey, make sure you subscribe to Doggy Diamonds No Filter Podcast on iTunes. The link is in the description box. Also, leave a comment and rate the podcast. Thank you. Thank you.